broken at the uh, at the move. The tender has broken and is going away from us. Get it on the get it on the TV, Claude. Please get it on the TV. The tender has broken. Copy. Photograph is floating away from us. And Jeff, we're tracking it with the radar, and we do read zero tension. Okay, Dave. Uh, looks like all the tether uh, is outside of the boom and uh, well away from the orbiter. We've got some tether inside the boom, which maybe looks like about 8 or 10 meters. So it broke inside the boom, it seems. Uh, we've got the brake on. And we don't see any tether movement. It's just laying inside the boom. Copy all, Andy. And stand by. Okay, Andy, and we want to completely verify. Do you have a visual on the satellite and the... Tether is moving away from the shuttle, and like some words on that. Okay, well, uh, we had a visual on the satellite up until up until we got into darkness here. We'll go ahead and try to pick it back up, but at the time that we had it, uh, all the tether was heading up towards the satellite and was well away from us. Copy. Dave, it looks like we still have a radar lock, so we could keep that for a little bit, unless you guys are tracking it better than we are. We have an image. Okay, and what you're seeing now, we were using the 350. And confirm, you, you are seeing the picture? Affirmative, Jeff. Good image. Okay, this is taken through the EOS 350 millimeter lens. We were photographing the shape of the tether, and you can see it just starting to go slack now. Unfortunately, in all the excitement, somebody bumped the camera, and we lost it. Okay, uh, and that's the view that we had of it uh, as it was drifting away, and we got it for a minute or so before sunset. Yes, sir. Well, those are some tether dynamics we did not want to see. Well, well, we have, we have demonstrated that you can generate a lot of electricity with tether, and uh, unfortunately, we've also demonstrated that you can use tethers to uh, launch a satellite into a much higher orbit. And Fido concurs. That was one of our objectives, two of our objectives at least. In fact, uh, we can see it picked up about an 80 foot per second boost. Without using any propellant. Okay, and there the sun was setting. And I guess we lucked out uh, as far as being able to capture some of it before the sun set.
motion again, Houston. It looks like it's going in. Copy, Scott. Thank you. Roger, we see it. Two minutes to the ZOE. Back with you on the west at 2206. Copy. That's a beautiful shot of an amazing piece of equipment. Commander Amy Whitty from WHT TV. I'm going to play the devil's advocate here. How would you answer critics who say $443 million is a lot to lose and space research should be curbed? How would you respond to that? 
I guess I would say that uh, we need to take a hard look at what happened and why. And uh, there isn't any research program, like I said, that doesn't have disappointments that come along the way. The value of it, I think uh, space research is an extremely valuable tool because every time we do something, we learn something. But I don't think there's a research program around that doesn't have uh, its types of failures and can, ha and can have some of that same criticism applied to it. But we can't learn unless we go try. So I have not lost my, my excitement about uh, what we try to do up here in space, nor have I lost my enthusiasm. Uh, nor do I think it, it has really lost its merit. I think it is a, is a tremendously commendable and uh, worthwhile goal for us to keep on doing this type of research up here. Uh, we haven't seen the last of tethers, I hope, and uh, we just need to go ahead and take another hard look at it. This is Marcia Dunn of the Associated Press for Dr. Hoffman. I'm wondering if you could uh, describe a little more your feelings of personal loss as you uh, watched the tether cut and as you saw years and years of work just go out uh, into nothingness. Well, that's a very poetic way of putting it because uh, a lot of things were disappearing there. Uh, we all did have a lot of hopes. Um, we got about half way there in terms of being able to deploy the satellite and to just whet people's appetite for the incredible scientific uh, investigations that could be covered. Um, the scientists have, have lost a lot and I, I deeply feel for them and we were really looking forward to demonstrating that uh, we could actually retrieve a satellite from 20 kilometers which of course is something that has never been done and we've put an incredible amount of work into that and uh, those of us here will probably never get a chance to do that. But uh, in terms of personal feelings, it's, it's really, really important. I think we've all been trying to say this, is that um, when you're working hard to try to develop uh, new ideas, new science, new technology, uh, you have setbacks. Um, you know, how many, how many things did Thomas Edison try before he finally found a filament to make an electric light bulb? Um, and I want to think back to uh, STS-46 when uh, we obviously also had a disappointment. And uh, one question was asked to us about, you know, what the purpose is, why we should keep doing this. And uh, at that time, what I did was to uh, take out something that we brought on board, and that is uh, a copy of a book by Arthur Clarke, The Fountains of Paradise. And this is a book where he describes a very futuristic view of a, an application of, of tethers where someday there may be a, a tether system uh, that would lead to a space elevator going from Earth all the way up to geosynchronous orbit. Uh, tethers have the potential to revolutionize a lot of the ways we operate in space. Um, nobody said it's going to be easy. Uh, I would have hoped that uh, after two flights we would have gotten a little farther than we got this time. And I don't want to... Uh, try to pretend that, that we're not pretty bitterly disappointed, but nevertheless, um, you know, human lifetimes are short in the big scheme of things, and uh, hopefully these dreams will someday come true, and, and our successors, I hope, will look back to the things that we've done, and uh, at least part of they, they can say that uh, we, we helped to point the way, and if that's so, then, then I think we'll all have gotten a lot of satisfaction from this.